Hey guys, it's Joey. Okay, for those of you that don't know what an ARG is, ARG stands for Alternate Reality Game, which basically means it's sort of really obscure, it takes a lot of research and digging to figure out what certain clues mean. I mean, everybody does it sort of differently, but with Cloverfield, the original Cloverfield, they got pretty in-depth and it got pretty intense and it was a whole lot of fun, and I remember it fondly, the year 2008, 2000, end of 2007, 2008. There was a ton of ARG for the original Cloverfield movie. With 10 Cloverfield Lane, we sort of, I think we're sort of craving a really fun, in-depth ARG experience. And for a while, I thought that's what we were getting with the uh, Swamp Pop stuff, which I ordered a four pack of, and it's terrific. And it comes with puzzle pieces that we figured out. Spoiler if you didn't realize what it was. Uh, it is the Eiffel Tower. The puzzle pieces kind of came out to be the Eiffel Tower. Somebody put it together on Reddit. Reddit has been on top of this ARG thing, uh, either you know, figuring stuff out or debunking it. And it seems like a lot of it just doesn't make sense. I don't want to be a buzzkill or anything or you know, step on anybody's feet, but I'm starting to think that the, there isn't like a real ARG for Cloverfield, and if there is one, it was sort of rushed because people kind of expected an ARG from 10 Cloverfield Lane. I mean, the movie came out of nowhere, more or less, we did not expect to see it, all of a sudden 10 Cloverfield Lane. But that doesn't mean we're any less excited, and of course we want to figure out if there is an ARG, because if there is, then that's that's great, like we have a, something to do, we have a whole bunch of fun, but any of the ARG that, you know, theories or things that people have found so far seem to be sort of dead ends, or they don't really come to anything yet. I mean, the movie comes out in about a month and a half now, so we might see something more solid in the future if there is an actual ARG. I honestly, I love Swamp Pop. I love what they're doing. I don't know if they're actually part of the whole thing or if they're just sort of jumping on what the bandwagon and they know what happened with the first Cloverfields. That's why they added the puzzle pieces and it was in the trailer. But I don't know. Nobody really knows if they have any anything to really do with the film so I don't I don't want people to get stressed out by what I'm saying but I don't I honestly don't think there's an ARG it's more like a fun little like a fun little game a fun little play around I don't know what to call it but it doesn't feel like an ARG or like the original Cloverfield had it doesn't feel as in-depth and people aren't unlocking things and finding uh, really interesting stuff like with the original movie. If you want to, you know, sort of uh, go back in time and remember what the original movie was like, there's a website called Cloverfield Clues. I think it's a blogspot.com website. So I'll, I'll put the link in the description in case you want to go check out what happened with the previous Cloverfield movie. If you were not aware and if you came to it late, you missed all that fun. But there's still so much stuff there that you could go back and, you know, be amazed at. So if there is ARG, which I have not been, like, totally in-depth, like, into lately because I've been sort of busy. I mean, with the original one, I was sort of all over it. I was on Cloverfield Clues every day. I was doing my own research and coming up with my own uh, you know, theories, but this time I don't feel like there's anything substantial in the 10 Cloverfield Lane ARG world. There's probably some stuff, maybe some stuff we haven't found yet or discovered or some stuff that hasn't been released yet. I don't want to be, I don't want to totally dismiss it in case I'm wrong. And if you think I'm wrong, please tell me because I love to be corrected because I want there to be ARG and I'm sure a lot of other people do. So. Let me know what you think if you are per if you have participated in the previous Cloverfields ARG, if you're sort of participating in what could be it now. I want to know what your theories are. If you think there is an ARG going on, if you don't, I don't want any arguments because I know there's been a lot of arguments on Reddit. I just want theories. I want your opinions. I don't want arguments because that is unproductive. And if there is or isn't an ARG, getting pissed at each other and whether or not there is or isn't is not fun for anybody. Ultimately, we want to enjoy the movie for what it is. Even if there isn't an ARG, hopefully it is a good movie experience. Hopefully there is some Cloverfieldness to it. There's That's a whole nother discussion 
what that movie actually is going to be or is. I don't know if I'll do another video on it. If I could get my friend to come on and discuss his theories, that would be great. But I don't know. We'll see. In the meantime, I suggest if you want Swamp Pop, you go pick it up. I think it's $9 for a four pack, but the shipping was 10 I live in New Jersey, so I don't know if it's different based where you are, but I have the praline cream soda, which is delicious, and I kind of wanted something that tasted a little bit like butterbeer, which butterbeer is basically cream soda, so I have this, and it tastes, and honestly tastes delicious, like, go support Swamp Pop, they're trying to, you know, give you guys something fun to do with this, this Cloverfield stuff, so I definitely support them and whatever they're trying to do, if they're actually a part of this, or just taking it upon themselves to do something, I'm going to plug them, they're, they didn't pay me, I'm not sponsored or anything, but it's just a cool company, like, they're, they're just, they just seem like a really cool group of people making a really cool product, a really good product, there's no GMOs, caffeine free, made with pure Louisiana cane sugar, it's like, just like, pure soda, pure pop, pure swamp pop. Alright guys, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, theories, please share them with me, because I like, totally want to hear them. Like, I definitely do. I'm very curious. I'm not just saying that to, like, you know, punctuate my videos. When I actually say, like, I'm curious and I want to talk to you guys about it, I actually do. I will have conversations with you in the comments section or if you want to just message me or message me on Twitter at Joey Pedras, like you see everywhere on this thing. And we'll talk about it. We will talk about it in depth. I'm totally up for it. So I shall see you guys very soon and, uh, see you later.